Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back once more. So we are having to try and find a way here. There's a lot going to the Soviet Union, but I do need those. There's a lot going to Mexico. I could cancel that from Mexico. 99 remedy or so. 99. Oh. I'll keep it going for now. I do need to build up my stockpiles. Really, really do need to build them up. Uh, we had success here in destroying the South African troops. Good. Okay, we're spread out now. Uh, Panzer divisions. Lovely. Hmm. Put some panzers over here then. Right, Stettin. Okay. And so we'll have nine divisions over here then, which is a significant amount, but I do need to maintain control over here. Uh, Copenhagen's a level 10 port, so that would be a hell of a lot better. I may strip them of their artillery and have that deployed elsewhere. Who knows? Drawn Titan. Okay, the Iron Road is opened, or the Baltic Sea is free. In 1939, 70% uh, of the iron ore used by German industries was imported from Sweden, uh, when it cannot be uh, routed through the Baltic Sea, which in frozen in winter, or under Soviet control, the iron ore is transported from Narvik, where the Iron Road stops. So Narvik has strategic importance at the beginning of the warning game. Once the Norwegian neutrality is violated, Sweden will sell its iron ore to Germany, only if it controls Narvik, or only if the Baltic Sea is free. The Allies can therefore cut the road of iron and suffocate German industries during the winter period. The Soviets can cut their supply for the rest of the year by occupying the Baltic Sea and maintaining a medium-sized naval presence, and at least two naval zones of the Baltic. Interesting. Uh, so we freed up the Iron Road then, which I'd love here. I'd love to try and get Sweden in here. Okay. I could give the French some of my rare materials. That's true. Hmm. Um, right, we'll cancel this and that. And the ones to Japan. Hmm. I should free up some supply. Yeah, there we go, a little bit more there now. Okay. But the good news is we are gaining those materials. We are producing everything as well, it's just the upgrades. But I could do with the upgrades. Bloody hell. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's another six divisions. Anti-partisan. Yeah, it's good. The French are filling out these gaps. That's fantastic. And that's what I like to see. 
I guess I can have the cobbler sent out here. That's nice. Okay. Not too many submarines out at the moment. Right of a garden, all of the approaches, fantastic. Manda. So we do have uh, 153 divisions over here in the east, so pretty much the entirety of the army. Right, I might actually stop producing planes. Yeah, you can see here we have um, 146, so, well, ships, 180 army divisions, 56 in the Air Force. Yeah. 43 fighters, I think that's enough. I'm going to free that up, man. And we'll let these ones finish off. But the rest I'm going to cancel. Doesn't free up much, but that's another 10 plus IC that can go immediately into the army. Now I'm going to start upgrading this infrastructure. Eh, it's not bad here. Oh, well, that's because we've been upgrading it. If I can get that infrastructure upgraded here, that'd be really important. Okay, so that's cost us a little bit in IC, but it will be definitely worth it. Engineers. Okay. Hmm. I can't cancel those ones. Right, cancel the one with Mexico. So we're still gaining a hell of a lot of oil. Not as much now, but still a hell of a lot. Right, we've got more that can go into upgrades. That's good news. Panzer leader. Not exactly ideal. Right, we need more men here. I'm going to focus on this area. Ah, uh, then again, over here would be good too. And there we go. Good. Let's send over three infantry divisions, that's going to be very useful. 1939 level 2. I think they can attack from both. Well, attack in both directions there. I'm gonna stop producing engineer divisions, I think. Well, attachments. Hmm. Not really worth it, I guess. Almost got that gaining bonus up there. Yeah, but look at how good this is. That's really nice. No. Right, I'll spread these out. There we go. Right, after the end of the Spanish Civil War and the fall of France, Franco and Hitler met in Hendai to negotiate about an alliance. Wow. In exchange for French Morocco, the Oran region of Algeria, and substantial economic and military provisions, the mutin marked the refusal of Spain to join the Axis powers in their war against Britain. Due to Hitler's lack of support for Franco's colonial claims, at this time, Hitler did not wish to disturb his relations with the sympathetic Vichy regime, and Franco obviously didn't want to risk 
his position gained him three years of civil war. Spain will ally with Germany in exchange for enormous subsidies and more importantly a large part of French Africa, forcing the Vichy regime to hand over to Morocco. Um, Spain will most likely stable it. Stabilize it. Ooh. Do I want the Spanish? Do I want the Spanish? <sighs> it's, um... It's certainly an interesting prospect. If I do bring the Spanish in, sure, I gain another ally. And a lot of troops there. But the thing is... All these ports that can be invaded. They'd have to secure Gibraltar. If they secured um, Gibraltar, they good. But yeah. That's a pain. I'll go with OK and see what happens. I mean, I'm not even letting Italy join the war here. How is Italy doing? 57 divisions. Hmm. I think they're just much better off without being in the Axis. Uh, some manoeuvre. Design study. And there we go. I'm sorry, Italy. I should move that. Hmm, that really hurt that organization. No, no ground attack. Right, there we go. So the French don't have that much in the way of IC and they're getting constantly bombed by the British. But rather them than me. Oof. There's a lot of planes right there. Okay. I am building up my strength for Barbarossa. Right, the capture of Ottomindon. Ah, the raider ship Atlantis encountered the British cargo ship Ottomindon. Oh, I know what this is. Okay. The documents along with 10,000 tons of aviation fuel were sent to Japan. Right. Is that gaining 1,000 oil? On his head, rather have Japan in. And the thing is to consider we have 162,000. Oil, that's a lot. Right, the tripartite pact proposed. With Paris and German hands, it became clear that the New World Order was emerging. On September 27th, 1940, Germany, Italy, and Japan signed the Tripartite Act. Yeah, okay. The Berlin, Rome, Tokyo Axis formed. Takes some national descent away, and I gain some cash. Can't complain, but win win. Oh, that's good. Alright, seems air scrambles a bit of a pain. Right, we'll send a lot of planes to the problem. There we go, we need to protect the French industries. Yep, victories. 
Yes, I do like the Vichy regime. Right, right, part I... Pack proposed, uh, proposed to Hungary, yep, sure. Sweet. Not really unexpected, but hey. Okay. There we go, small arms uh, assembly line. Terrific. Actually, really important right now. Ah, that'd be nice. Agri chemistry would be cool too. As uh, so we're getting 2 2, uh, 2 1. But we do have a blueprint for that. That would be nice too. Hmm. Yeah, that would lead to things like that. But they're all far, far away. Um. I guess I'll go for this. No, I'll go for this. This one will be done quicker, I imagine. No, I'm not going to bother with these. Well, I could, I suppose. I do have the resources for it. Hmm. I should give them some... ...rares. I think I will, then. There we go. So I'll have you work on this. Mr. Heinz Gadarian. Yep, if I give them some revs, then they'll be able to get their industry off the ground and start producing more men for the war effort. December 3rd. Another SS division? I probably will get those. I mean, it wouldn't be too bad of an idea. A few extra divisions there, very powerful divisions at that. Right. Um, I'll give them some rares then. I'll give them 10 rares for nothing. Hopefully we should see their industry grow now. Yep, look at that, that's doubled. Hmm, might be worth to give them some more. Yeah, I think it will. I'll give them another 10. Go to more infrastructure. That's what I like to see. I do have the cash to buy some more rares too. Nice. Yeah, now we got 66 there. Medium tank 1941. Uh, self propelled 1942. Hmm. Right, December 11th. There we go. So we're giving them 20 rares. Yep, 60. So maybe another 10 and they'll be at full strength. Lovely. So they have a fighter squadron now. They have six infantry divisions. They're building up. That's what I like to see. In fact, they might need not be able to do anything else. Depends. That's another one of those bloody destroyers. They might come in useful later on in the war. Right, so we're in December 1940. The year is almost at a close. Right, there's some extra planes. And pretty much the last planes of that. So I'm just going to try and upgrade them from now on. Ah, they're shifting attacks now.
Right, there we go. Have a few more planes and meet them in the skies. Uh, so we haven't gained the Spanish. Not surprised about that one. To be honest, I'd rather keep Vichy and I'd rather keep the Spanish out. Yeah, the Italians really do like us. Oof. Yes. Brilliant. And like, see you here then. Yep, that shortened the build time of... Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Right, so I might go for the deep repair logistics system. Increasing that repairs, which is going to mean everything's going to be repaired faster. Um, tanks, submarines, planes, all that sort of good things. Very, very worth it. There we go, so we're now up to 96, 100. Fantastic. Italy. One day, but not today. Ah, Communist China's gone. So the Japanese aren't doing too bad. They're doing pretty damn good, actually. Uh, 3,250 convoys. Germany aligns with Finland. Yeah, is the war over? Yep, yeah, that's definitely over. Germany aligns with Finland. Hmm. <sighs> I lose quite a lot there. Okay. That's worthwhile, actually. At least nine divisions there. I can do that. Anybody better? Yep. So we need nine divisions in Graz. That'll do. So we add up to 455 industry. Hello. Ah, one of our ministers have died. Ah, that sucks. Stand an army at seven now? Yep. Okay, so it costs more to upgrade, it costs, well, it takes longer. Uh. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth it, actually. There's not much else I can do, though. Okay. So I don't think we need to worry too much about the French. They could do with more rares, apparently. Right, Yugoslavia joins the tripartite. I'd love that. Right, put pressure on Yugoslavia. And we do have good relations there. Right, Yugoslavia breaks the Pact of Steel. I don't really have a choice when it comes to this. So, we'll attack Yugoslavia. Um, I'd be able to give land to... Italy, I'd imagine. War with Yugoslavia. That's... very confusing. Okay. Right, the independent state of Croatia. Either or. I might just puppet um, Yugoslavia. Now, do they have any good resources? Uh... Yeah. Not really. Okay. They are attacking into the mountains, so that's understandable. Right, the Iron Guard Rebellion in Romania. Hmm. We'll send help. Right, 
there we go, some more IC for upgrades. Okay, so it seems they've shifted their focus over here. But France is okay for now. Yep, they're gaining their IC back there. Twelve infantry divisions now. That's what I like to see. I guess I'll send them some extra. Right, so we're now sending them 30 rare materials. Which, uh, speaking of that, I could do with finding some more rares. some more in. Nothing to trade. The Soviet Union, however. Right, grab everything while we can. So we won't be able to do it soon. Something that they're particular about here. Right, there we go. And now we reduce the offer. Oh shit, can I get those supplies? Oh. Okay, that's no fun. We'll reset that. A ludicrous offer like that. Okay, never mind. I'll just buy the raw materials. Hmm. We'll find it. There we go. So it's oil that they're bothered about. And supplies. But we'll get down there. I'm not going to give you supplies. I'm not going to give them much cash either. 